Today we are playing a table from Williams called Pat Hand from 1975. Uh, just added today on VP forums. And I am also surprised again because not only does this table look pretty cool, where you have the these the pop bumpers on the left side and the positioning. Um, it's just a really interesting back glass. Like I'm wondering what is that a, like um like one of those like geishas. And also what's cool is these rollovers. Uh, these button rollovers that you can see in orange in the middle and on the left hand side where you have another flipper. Just an interesting design here. I originally did not see, oh, come on. I originally did not see the pop bumpers. I was like, oh no, a table without poppers. And then I saw them because they, oh my gosh. Because they blend in, so, but they have an interesting bumper cap. And yeah, pretty cool lighting. This also has a dimmer, as you can see. I love the dimmer. The dimmer makes a huge difference. Look at that. Hit. You can see all those bumpers pop up. I mean, all those uh, roller buttons. This is also a five ball game. All the rollover buttons in the middle are lit. And it looks like there's there's cards behind them. Jack, Ace, Queen, Ten. Okay, very interesting. Let's go one more time here. I have never heard about this table. Um or seen it at all so I am surprised again <laughs> how many you know pinball tables there, there, must, there must have been you know and uh, it's interesting because a lot of people who are kind of like newer to pinball um, or digital pinball may not may never know about these tables uh you know when they think about pinball they're probably like oh yeah mars attack um the adams family that kind of stuff but they're i think a lot of great pinball was was done before that you know with, with the em machines as these set the Oh my. It's a tough table. <laughs> but it's a beautiful one. Look at those poppers. Well, guys, this has been Pat Hand from Williams, 1975. Till next time, I'll catch y'all later. Thanks for watching.